Your lead magnet email sequence. In this video, I'm gonna be talking about what this is, why you need one, and basically, if you're interested in content that converts and you're interested in turning the people who've downloaded your lead magnet into paying clients and customers, then you're in the right place. So first of all, why should you listen to me on this subject? I'm Bernadette Doyle, and since 2004, I've been using these email sequences online to take people from the raised hand of downloading my lead magnet into a paying client, client and customer. So these are a really important step in the process. These email sequences are invaluable for turning that interest into paying business. But so many people make mistakes with this, and in this video I wanna to talk to you about what these mistakes are and how to avoid them. So what is a lead magnet email sequence and why do you need one? In another video, I made the distinction between free content that gets people to raise their hands and free content that then turns that raised hand into paying business. And so after someone has downloaded your lead magnet, they've let you know that they're interested in the problem that you can help them solve. They're interested in what you offer. But now you need to move to the next step of converting that interest into paying business. If you are selling an online course, the next step might be that they actually purchase purchase your course. If you're like most of my clients, you're a coach or a consultant, there's a very good chance that the next step will be to book a discovery call. And actually, if you're selling a higher ticket online course, that would be the next step that I would encourage too. So what this means is your lead magnet email sequence basically needs to take people through a series of steps that's going to make it easy for them to say to the next step. So for the rest of this video, I'm going to assume that the next step is booking a sales call with you. It's booking that discovery call, booking that sales conversation, so you can talk to them about your coaching offer and then invite them into it. But even though the next step is booking that sales call, there may be a lot of things that are standing in the way of a person who's just downloaded your lead magnet from taking that step. So rather than just issue with a swipe file to create your lead magnet email sequence, I'm going to recommend that you really stop and think about in order for a person go from the place of just downloading your lead magnet to, okay, I'm ready to book a call. What are all of the things that they need to go through? What are the things that they need to know? What are the things that they need to believe about you, about themselves, about what it is that you're promising? Think about all of the things that they need. And I would recommend that you brainstorm all of those things. And then what I do is I separate those out into specific topics and I create an email for each thing. So for example, if you are selling a sales consultation as the next step and you want people to book a call, it could be that you really just need to demonstrate what value are they going to get just from booking that call. So I would have an email that actually sells all the benefits of that call? What's a takeaway that someone's going to have, even if they don't sign up for my services? So with a sales consultation, it is things like clarity. It is things like getting a clear action plan. It is things like overcoming the obstacles that are stopping you. So I would have one email that is dedicated to all of those things, but I wouldn't stop there. I'd also make sure that in that email sequence, I had an, another email, perhaps sharing a, a case study or a testimonial of someone else who also signed up for a call and the breakthrough that they had even before they became a client. Now, now, when you approach it in this way, what you're going to do is you're going to lay out maybe a, an email sequence. It could be five to seven emails to get, get people to take the next step. When you do it this way, what will happen is you will lay out a series of topics that you can see, okay, someone might need just one of these in order to feel comfortable taking the next step. Or if they um, need more convincing, they might need to see all five or all seven of them. And so what you then do is you prioritize them and then you can lay out your sequence of emails. Now, how frequently should you send them? I typically, if someone has downloaded my lead magnet, I will send an email every day for a period of seven to 10 days. And then after that, I'll put them in a longer term nurture sequence where I continue to share content and give them more reasons to take the next step. But in that period, just after someone has downloaded, I like to kind of intensively follow up because the fact that they've downloaded this right now tells me that this is opportunity or topic is important to them. And that's why I want to follow up intensively at that moment in time. The next thing you can do is once you've got your lead magnet email sequence in place is you really want to look at the numbers. You want to look at and track which of those emails are really performing, which are the ones that are moving people to the next step. And what I regularly do is I'll highlight my top performers and move them to the front of the sequence so people get those ones first. And if I've got emails that aren't performing, they're not doing the job of moving people to the next step, then they get lovingly culled. <laughs> 
and replaced with new things. And that's how I'm able to constantly optimize my e email sequence. So there you have it in a nutshell. You don't have to be bamboozled by uh, what it takes to create a lead magnet email sequence. You basically need to get really clear on what is the objective of the sequence? What is the next step you want the reader to take? And then you lay out what are all of the things that they would need to know, believe, understand in order to take that step. And then you want to break those into one topic per email and create an email, email sequence that achieves all of those things in each email. Put it together, observe how your email sequence does, and then optimize it. So I hope this has helped you and has clarified any questions that you might have about a lead, mail, lead magnet email sequence. And if you are a coaching consultant and you're looking to create one of these to get more clients, I urge you to check out my own program, Get Clients Make Money, because in that, not only do we help you create a lead magnet email sequence, we also show you how to get people to download your lead magnet in the first place and also how to have the conversation that converts that person into a buyer after they've signed up for your sales conversation, they've signed up for your discovery call. It's all in there. It's a program that I've poured 25 years of experience into and I know it can help you get clients to make money. So do check that out. Thanks for watching. Leave a comment below. I always check your comments and I use any questions that you might ask as the basis for future videos. I'll see you next time. Oh,